Well, welcome wow. to the tea at three with Gigi and myself, Andrew. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> So, for those who are from the very, very low country of New Orleans, I discovered that uh, coffee and chicory with no cream it might as well be no drink at all. <laughs> what are you? What you're saying is your coffee stirrer standing up by itself? Yeah, it really <laughs> was. It was. It, they could have like bing, stood straight bing. up, but no, it is now creamy, slightly, only slightly, slightly. Well. So. Thank you for tuning in. If you are a guest with us, um, we are both staff members at the Episcopal Church of the Ascension in Knoxville, Tennessee. Yes, we are. And we would like to invite you to come worship with us at 8 or 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Yes. Or at 7 in the morning or 5.45 in the evenings at daily office, morning and new prayers. Or on Wednesdays at noon for the healing service. Right. No, it didn't work. Um, so <laughs> a little crunchy today. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah. So we do have a little poll going on. Yes, which uh, we hope you would, um, you know, make a selection. Whether you follow the directions or not is up to you. Is who looks better in the ascension gear? <laughs> this or moi? Um, so <laughs> it's really cozy. It, it is cozy, and it's I will so have to take this off in due time. Although the weather is starting to, it's supposed to actually make it worth wearing one of these. Yes, and even this weekend. So I'm quite excited about that because it'll be in the 60s, which you know for some of us is cold. Hey, Mama Jean and Barbara Craig. Hi, Barbara. Oh, P.S. Barbara Craig, you left your umbrella in my car, and it's on the communications desk in the office. I found it in my car this morning. Which is so. related to one of our announcements we'll talk about later. Well, we'll talk about that later. So, so cool, fun fact. Um, so, the early service people have been living with this very eco-friendly trifold bulletin. Well, Ascension has so much going on at it that it no longer will fit in said trifold bulletin. So, now you get bougie full print bulletins. What? Sort of full print. Yes. So... Uh, it's the early service parts, you know, it still has you go into the BCP, but you get all the announcements that the later service gets. So you get the best of both worlds. That's super fancy. And there is a large print edition too now of the early service. That's fancy. You know, so if you can't see, you now can see it because it's like see. ginormous print. Um, if your eyes are too small. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. And that new hearing system, which kind of flummoxed this past Sunday, is actually working now. We had a little soundboard problem, and, you know, if you can't get sound out of the soundboard, the hearing system doesn't work. So right. there's no point in it. So, like, all these people, like, showed up with headphones and their smartphones. So like, excited. They were excited. I was like, hey, guys, I'm so sorry it doesn't work because there's no sound coming out. <laughs> but that's okay because sometimes when we have new things, we have glitches and it... it, it it's the Holy Spirit moving. It, it, yeah. So, you know, it takes, you sometimes know, sometimes she to moves work out in things. and sometimes she moves out. <laughs> right. So sometimes it, when we have new ministries and new things, we have to work the glitches out and that's okay. Exactly. No worries. Okay. Oh, what else? I have the, I have the one with the prompts. I thought you so were I have in. the next one. Yes. Okay, I have, have the next one. So coming up is, um, on Sunday morning, um, in room 101 at nine fifteen. Um, is going to be the forum class, and they will be discussing the interpretation of the Bible in medieval Christianity and rabbinic Judaism. Yes, I pronounced that correctly. Yes, you did pronounce yes. that correctly. And I am um, so excited for it because I have a lot of uh, colleagues who were so interested in medievalism. Of course, we have the Marco Institute at UT, mm -hmm. and so they just they would just eat this up. And the Sunday after this upcoming Sunday on the 21st, they will be talking about the changes that the Reformation and modernity brought to biblical interpretation. That one so. didn't pronounce No, I did not. Modernity. I knew I would not. <laughs> modernity. I don't like the big words. <laughs> and she's going into her thing. So, um, 
So that is for, you know, learning and expanding your horizons. For people who are Sunday smarter morning. than me. <laughs> they are still doing the Parish Wide Sunday School. That's still going on. It's for me. <laughs> um, so then after Sunday, on Monday, there is an easy Trekkers, quote, hike. Yes. It's like a walk. And it's going to be um, through a, a wooden area that some might enjoy, referred to as the Bearden Village Urban Trail. Yes. So that's a little more local. And you're going to park at Earth Fair Monday, 9 in the morning, and join up at the group and go. And it's, it's easy, you know, it's kind of flat here. And it'll be fun. That way you're not, you know, going up a mountain. Um, you're not but they have one of those on the 20th, right? Right. Yes. So we have um, all different kinds of hikes for various folks of various abilities. So if you like a flat hike, you have a flat hike. If you have... Otherwise known as a walk. Otherwise, if you want mountainous things, then you get Try mountainous to. options. Yes. So. so, and apparently this, like, Big South Fork National Park, this twin arches loop that they are hiking, like, it's apparently one of the most gorgeous spots in the southeast. And, you know, since, you know, climate change has pushed fall back even further, you might actually see some pretty colors. Right. <clears throat> um. So also the following day, so it's like every day of the week, the lunch it's bunch busy week. has some um, crazy business with the SEC. Ooh, tell and, us you know, that. I'm not a big football nerd. Well, sometimes depends on my mood. But Dr. Mark Windham, Windham or Windham, is going to come from UT and he's going to speak. And Sam Venable, who y'all know, you Episcopalians better know Sam Venable. And if you're from Good Samaritan, you really ought to know. Sam Venable, and he says uh, Mark is like the, the emperor of little known facts about the SEC. So this is one of those things like come at 1130 this coming Tuesday and get your snack food on and come hear him speak. Cool. It only costs $2 and a side dish. $2 and a side dish? Nice. Okay. Um, also coming up, Ascension is going to be holding two more listening sessions for Justice Knox. Now, I went to the first one um, yesterday morning at the Plaid Apron, which also... Oh, how was that? I've never been um, to the Plaid Apron. So good. It's in Sequoia Hills, right? Yeah, it is. It's in Sequoia Hills. And so it was so good. It was delicious. There's like a little so. village that exists in the middle of Sequoia Hills. Right. And that's what I thought was kind of strange. I had never been kind of in that area, so I was like... This is this is neat. The this crazy cool thing about it is that I never know how to actually get there. I stumble upon it every single time. Right. So, well, there's this thing called GPS. I know. <laughs> it, it, but it's like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go on the Dogwood Trail. And then I'm like, oh, there's like a whole little miniature town in the middle of Sequoia Hills. Modern technology. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyways, that. so Justice Knox is going to have two more listening sessions. And all parishioners are invited to attend. Um, the listening sessions are going to be Wednesday, October 17th, um, and that'll be hosted by Valerie Bieber Bieberdorf. Bieberdorf. Okay, I, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure because I'm all about making sure people's names are said right. Um, and she'll have a listening session at 1 o'clock in the church library. And then on Thursday, the 18th, um, Sarah Ringer will have a listening session at her home at 10 a.m. So that is... The goings on to Justice Knox. Justice Knox. So I'm working on a little project. Um, we all have all the projects. All, I, do, I do. I have a lot of projects. Um, so one of them, of course, is the Ascension Scola. Um, yes. And we are going to, on Thursday, October 18th at 545, have chanted evening prayer in honor of St. Luke the Evangelist, who actually has a hymn for St. Luke in the hymnal. No. I just learned that today. I was planning a hymn, and I was like, there is a dedicated hymn for St. Luke in the hymnal 1982. Well, there you go. It was quite nice. How do you, you like you that? You can participate in the service by singing, or you can sit there and listen, but we just want to kind of fill the room with people and just have fun. Sounds good. The other musical event going on, though, um, our very own Byron Moffat mm -hmm. has a guitar studio. Ooh. And they are doing an acoustic guitar recital on Saturday, October 20th. Nice. So come here. It's at 11 in the morning. And just hear the hear the musicians and enjoy yourself. Right. 
acoustic guitar recital. Acoustic guitar recital. Excellent. Also coming up, big, big Ascension event. What? I mean, is it the parish meeting? We'll get there. We'll oh. get to that one. It's Well, it's not that big then. But it's a Sabre Martin production. Oh, yes, it will be. Good. I am referring to the All Hallows Eve service and Boobash, which is a spooktacular combination. I didn't come up with that. I can't take credit for it. No, and I didn't either. <laughs> it literally says that on here. Spooked, where is it? Spooktacular combination. Muscle coordination, such a hard thing. It, it's reversed, okay? <laughs> like what we're looking at, Andrew's it's, on this side. It's hard to be like, it, and I'm on this. It, it, I can't. Uh, okay. Facebook. <laughs> it is awesome. If you haven't been, I mean, it is great. I mean, not I'm excited to mention that Leo Beal is cooking for this. So if you haven't Ooh. had Leo Beal's food, you better come out to this. I am excited about that. Adults can dress up too. Um, yes, like I plan to. PG rated, please. And, you know, keep it safe for Jesus. And right. it is a church event. The The service actually starts up the hill by the graveside, you know. Mm -hmm. We do involve the dead in this somehow. And that was, the, the service starts at 5.30 on October 28th. Yes. So that's not this Sunday. She has a part now. That's I'm not, not spoil it, the Sunday after that, but it's the Sunday after that. Yes. Yeah. The okay. last Sunday and. October. Yes. And then the next Sunday is All Saints Sunday. And we have something very different for you this year. Oh, well, sort of. You, um, we always did a table where in the narthex where you could bring a portrait of your loved one and feature it that way. Well, the table is no more, but we're doing something even more interesting. We are asking you to bring a photo that is smaller than an 8 by 10. Um, it, the smaller, the better. And we're going to ask you to place it in one of the window sills of one of the stained glass Lovely. windows. Not the saints ones way up, but like on the ground floor. And that way we are all surrounded by the saints on all saints. That's cool. The skull is chanting, the choir is singing special Ooh. music that Sunday. Um, if you have had a loved one die within the past year, uh, send that into announcements at knoxvilleascension.org. Um, the members that have passed in the past year, they will be read during the service. But, you know, if you have um, other people, we list that in the bulletin, people who want to be remembered or people who want someone to be remembered have their names listed. Um, it's a special Sunday, and I just I just love it. Gigi is uh, typing away like I do the thing. typing. So, I do um, the typing. So, all right. So, also coming up, we is are getting to the parish page. supper in a second, Virginia. Um, we are also gonna be. Um, have you ever felt like maybe you're called to be a vestry member? Um, vestry nominations yeah. are forms are available, or maybe sometimes you get called to be a vestry <laughs> member. Uh, vestry nomination forms are available in the parish office on the communications counter. Um, it will be a three-year term, and if you would like to run or you know a parishioner that you think would be an excellent vestry member, um, feel free to nominate them and come fill out one of the um, application forms. Um, candidates will have to affirm that they wish they run. Um, they will speak on November 11th at a parish-wide meeting, and then the vestry elections will take place the following Sunday during the annual meeting of the parish. Yes. So it's the business yes. part it is of the church. Part of church. So of course, as I just promised we would we would say, is Wednesday night evenings at Ascension. And we are getting barbecue yes. chicken. Yes, and I will say, so last night I got to attend like one of my first um my first like parish like actual Wednesday night parish dinners because we didn't have youth group for fall break. And this guy here had been talking about the beef stroganoff like lasagna, lasagna. for entirely too long and saying oh it's so good oh you've got to try it and i was like all right fine i'll try it like we even canceled youth group no we didn't cancel youth group but we, <laughs> it, we just ha so happened. it happened that it was well timed and um i will say um i was not disappointed it there was we awesome yes. it was so good the so, Vidalia onion hyped. barbecue chicken is pretty good too but what's better is the um is the event that happens afterwards, which is Bishop Brian Cole's um, 
presentation on reconciliation. That's and, cool. Yes. And that he is focusing on 2 Corinthians 5, 16 through 21, not Colossians 1. So. A little bit different. Bishop Ryan will be here this Wednesday. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. The bishop will be in the house. Woo! Yes. Um, in other news, I will also say, check out news on the kids in the bulletins. There is a corn maze and hot dog cookout. Ooh. That's coming up at the end of the month. And we also do want to cover before we end stewardship. If you yes. go to www.knoxvilleascension.org slash walk in love, no spaces or anything, you will actually get to see a digital pledge card and sort of information. Yes. Or you might have gotten one in the mail that looks like this. Yes. If you didn't get one in the mail, you can go on the website and fill it out and send it in. Oh, she just opened it for you. She never even opened it. Well, I was waiting for this very moment. moment. Oh. So, included in your mailing here, you have a letter that says, stewardship is great. Do the stewardship thing. Do it. In a nutshell. You also have a pledge card. Yes. This you notice it's blank. It like. Well, it because blank. I just opened it. No, I'm saying because it requires a pen to fill it out. Right. So you... If you do the digital version, you just need a keyboard to fill it out. Your or name, address, telephone, your phone. pledge, etc. And then you have this handy-dandy envelope, which makes it easy for you. So then you fill out your card, you say, yes, I would like to pledge, and you place in the envelope. Don't forget to put a stamp on it. Place stamp here, where it says place stamp here. Return address here. That's your house. Your house, not ours. And then. Just shove it in the mailbox. Put it in the mailbox. And that's so. all I have to say this week. Well, then I have more things to talk about. Because she doesn't want like to talk, talk about, about We do things. want to talk about, um, I don't know if anyone else answered the poll. I don't know. I don't know how the poll thing works. Oh, it, it does. Oh, we didn't even publish it. Oh, <gasps> dude. It's we okay. have to publish it. Okay. So we have a very important poll. So, um, since we're doing this. Well, I didn't realize that we had to like publish. Yes. <laughs> okay. So yeah. if. If you would like to, to chime in on who looks better in the Ascension gear. Right. There's a poll on our screen. It's right there. Um, and just, you know, answer it. See, someone followed the directions. Yes. Yeah, this see, is also like an example. Thanks, of mom. The directions. <laughs> Probably was your mom. <laughs> you can stop in at that little forgotten welcome center that is um, on the foyer. Yes. And then just come visit and and hear what, you know, see all the different options. So we have three options. Three options. Can't pronounce things and can't count. I can't count. Oh my gosh, it's the end of the week. Okay. You have three options. You have this very fetching gray. With blue. With blue. You have a blue jacket. Super soft micro blue. fleece pullover. Half zip. Not all the way. Just half. And you also have jacket, which is full, like heavy fleece. It is very, it's, I'm starting to get like flush, but that's. And it. you can also, the if you like this. With no sleeves. Right. So either you have it's a fluffy. vest with sleeves or a jacket with no sleeves. You have two options. Yes. So um, the vest is $40 and then the jacket and the pullover, as we are both wearing, these are, are both 50. 50. And it's a fundraiser for our youth programs. So that's all very fun. Yes. Um, and so this Sunday will be the last Sunday that we are taking orders um, for for this go-round. And maybe we'll have a chance to do some orders later. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, so if you want to get your order in, please do so on Sunday or you can come by the church office and um, you can give us cash, you can give us check, but we also got fancy and on Sunday we'll have our card reader so that we can take cards as well for that. Um, and we're excited. It's going to be a great, you know, fundraiser for our youth programs and future Yay. endeavors of the youth. Yes. So, all right. Thank well, you for joining it. us. Thank you for joining us and we will see you next week. Next week. Bye. Bye.